and that's what I'm gonna say about that two years Sometimes when we're dealing with certain situation like depression and the anxiety um, and just the emotional, you know, distress and just feeling insecure about ourselves and 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 just having to deal with all that in a daily basis also on top of dealing with life itself, right? I have to get to work uh, with life itself, right? Um some years ago i was in this craft room working it was for a wedding party i had to do all their shirts plus i had to do shirts for the little girl in the tutus and i have been working all night till five o'clock that morning and normally when i have to work like that i don't like to put on netflix i'll put on youtube and i watch my youtuber and you know whatever youtube person i decide to watch if they have a playlist i'll just let it play and i'll watch their videos so um that's what i was doing that day and i was watching this lady i've been watching her for years before i even thought about having youtube her name is evelyn dominguez so i was watching all her videos i love her and um all of a sudden it jumped to my video it jumped to my video I'm looking at myself and that was one of the first videos that I that I posted and guys when I tell you I'm looking at myself and I see myself it was like an outer body experience now mind you I already knew way before that I have gained my weight I was hundred and ninety eight pounds I knew that um, I knew that I wasn't looking myself I knew that um, but I looked at the video and I was looking at me like I was looking at the pain like I knew the pain I was feeling I knew how I was feeling at that moment uh, it was like it was freaking weird it was weird I remember that second I broke down I cried I cried like I haven't cried in years hysterical crying um, it was terrible um, and there's a lot of other reasons a lot of other things that were happening I don't want to make this video long um, and I'll get to that in another video that were happening at that moment that I had lost touch with myself and this was two years ago so after I got done crying I was like so desperate I was like what can I do to feel better what can I do to go back to the old me like this is not me like your meal like what's going on like how did I get to that like I knew I was going through depression and anxiety. You go through it on a daily basis, but in a blink of an eye, it was two years. And I was, I don't even, I don't even know if I was aware that two years had passed. I'm not gonna kid you. So that next morning I wake up early in the morning and I'm like, you know, I can't keep on like this. Like I'm losing myself. Like even the way I was dressing and carrying myself, I was going out with, I had that crazy moño all the time in my hair, like that bun. And I wasn't doing anything. Like I stopped caring about myself. Um, and I, and I allow certain situations that were going on in my life to consume my life. And it all just broke me down. It all just chipped me away. And I didn't even realize that, it's, that all this is going on. Like, you know, you're feeling something every day, but you don't realize it's been two years of your life. And, and, and it's been gone. And you're stuck in shit. And half of the shit is not even your shit. Okay? I think that also a lot of times, um, and I have another video with that other part I think a lot of times when we're stay-at-home moms where um, you know even times sometimes working moms I think a lot of times um, we get so caught caught up in the life of having a husband taking care of your husband your kids your house and all of that that we forget about us and it's not like we're doing it because we have to No, we do it because we want to like me I start working when I had Gigi um and i was happy because i hadn't been home with the kids and like since i ever i've been working since i had pj so i was so happy to be home that i enjoyed you know cooking dinners every day breakfast baking the house was always you know tip top everything was really it was good i was happy and the kids were happy the husband's happy everybody's freaking happy right so now 
I get so comfortable in that lifestyle, right? I get so comfortable that everybody's freaking happy. I'm like happy that they're happy. So I want to make them always happy. I'm trying to do everything to make them happy. Um, so you give your all, right? I mean, you think about them before you think about yourself. And I think that besides all the other crap that was going on in my life, I think that also took a part. I think it took a part because I lost... I lost touch to who I was. You see, I had always worked, um, and I always had jobs where, you know, I was always in charge. I always, you know, ran things. Um, I worked at a nursing home for many years. I was assistant director of activities. I ran things. I came up with, you know, ideas. I ran programs. I scheduled people. I fire hire people. So, you know, I was in charge then I from that job I worked another job um, where I started working as a cashier to where I not accounting I'm sorry where I started um, working the finance department to running the fin finance department the store closed down when they opened back up they called me to run their finance department and run the front, front office and on top of that run the salesman um, you know so I've always been a, a um, in charge person, all my jobs always entitle me to be dressed. A stili um, I wore stiletto seven days a week, okay? Um, because I also worked a second job, which required me to be dressed. So I got dressed every day, hair and makeup every day, and then all of a sudden I'm home, I'm content, I'm like the fucking Puerto Rican Martha Stewart up in the house. Um, the only thing was I wasn't looking fabulous. Um, I think after a while, like I was like so freaking like happy that I forgot about me. Hello, Elaine, I'm here. Like even in some of the pictures that I started to go back and see, I'm like, what the hell were you wearing? Like, what is that? Like Kmart clothes, honey. And I listen, I shop Kmart, don't get me wrong. As a matter of fact, I shop wherever I can get a good deal. Because <laughs> I'm all about saving. But them clothes that I was wearing, some of those pictures, girl. I was like, what was you thinking? So, uh, at the end of the day, I got so caught up in being mommy and wife and a new baby back in the house after so many years. Um that I forgot about me, what I like to do, and I just lost myself. And then once I, after those two years that I finally got that moment, you know that moment when you wake up? And a lot of people use that as an expression. Oh, I had that wake up moment. I always thought that was an expression. But when I really woke up, I was like, I had lost so much, like so, it's so hard to explain. After two years of waking up, so much stuff had transpired in my life. And I was just drained. I was just out of tune with reality, with fashion, with everything. I'm not kidding. People who know me, because I have my closest friends that I've had since I was 11 years old, 12 years old. Okay, I have four best friends. And they know what it is. And I was like, nena, que te paso? Like, like how do I fix this like how do I get myself together first of all I need to lose some of this weight and how am I even gonna do that and you know what it wasn't even weight because I was eating crazy food because I'm not um I don't I'm not an overeater I like to eat don't get me wrong because I like food but I figure out a way to get out of this um, depression never mind the power of prayer because the power of prayer is serious because let me tell you I have started to pray to God every night like I never prayed to him before and I always pray to God at night to give him thanks um, but I have freaking prayed like I never prayed before and, and I would pray in the morning night throughout the day whenever I feel in my heart that I needed to pray or I was feeling something I will start to pray right then and there and I was like praying one day and I don't know like later on that day out of the blue I felt like this sensation in my heart like it was like such a good feeling it was like crazy and I was and I, I don't know I just felt so good it was like a burst of energy because I remember after that like I was like desperate like I wanted to freaking lose weight overnight like I wanted to do my hair different I wanted to do my eyebrows I wanted to just do my makeup which I'm not good at um 
<laughs> I wanted to do my nails. I wanted to get new clothes. I remember telling Paul I wanted to get new clothes. He was like, here, order what you want. <laughs> And it was just different. Like I started creating more. Like if you go on my Gigi um, Epsi shop and you look at the, at the date that I made that shop, I didn't have no interaction on that shop to almost 2018 or on 2018 um, because I had no motivation. After I started to feel, after looking at myself, I started to feel better and I was feeling desperate that I wanted to be the old me so fast that I started creating um, more, making money. I started posting stuff all over the place. I was selling Facebook, Instagram, all over. And crafting helped me. It helped me. It still helps me today. Whenever I make something for somebody, um, it makes me feel good knowing that it's going to somebody. When I have some people that order onesies, custom made onesies, or want a picture on a onesie and they tell me the story behind it, I feel good. I feel good that they're picking me to be a part of, you know, of that memory of, of what they're trying to, to create. Um, and when I ship something, I get pictures or reviews, it makes me feel good. So that's like, it helps me um, mentally and, and physically because it motivates me. Like I want to be up here all the time creating stuff. I just don't always have the time. Um, so, it, you know, the crafting helps me. So there might be something that you might like to do. Everybody has something they like to do. Cooking helps me. I love cooking. I make cooking tutorials because I love to share my recipes with you guys. Um, it can be makeup. You can do, there's women out there, they're freaking artists when it comes to be makeup, hair, nails, there's women that do nails. All that is an art. All that is a gift that you guys have because we all ha have our little things that we do. I can't do nails. I can't do makeup. Sure as hell can't do hair. Half the time I can't even do my own hair. So, um, you know, we all have our little things, you know that we're good at so always find that little thing to keep you busy that's going to keep your mind busy i always encourage people that you know are good at something make money out of it if you're good at it why don't you make money out of it um um there's like so many different things that we can do um meditation is good um writing i've started doing that i started writing things down in a journal, um, whatever I'm feeling that day, um, things that might have happened, how I how I handle them, um, ideas that I have, I started doing that. No one's read them, there's only me. Um, I don't know if you guys ever saw an interview with Tyler Perry, was it an interview with Oprah? I don't remember, I wish I remember, but I remember him saying in that interview that you know he was going through something. Then he said that he wrote a note to self and I wish I knew the video because I would love to post it um, so I I done two notes um, the first one when I first had that wake up moment I wrote a note to myself um, and to this day when I read it, it's heartbreaking um, and then I recently wrote a note to myself and things that I want for myself and how to value myself um, more than what I do and um, how to let things go and how to accept those who may want to be around you and those who don't want to be around you. Uh, one of my best friends, a straight up Italian from Brooklyn, and um, her thing is, and that's what I've learned to do. And I'm going to do this because I don't want it to come out of my mouth. And that's what I decide to do. Those who embrace me, embrace me. And those who don't want to be bothered can go fly one. And that's for anybody, friends, family. And that's the way I honestly feel. Some people might not like that I posted this video. And that's okay because I had to deal with so much. Um, and most of the time it was... Um, here in the house with you know Paul and the kids of course you know I have wonderful kids you know um Paul was a big support um my my best friends that I love very much are always checking up on me that when I don't answer their calls that I totally check out and I check out they're still there because they know what I'm going through and they know me as a person and how I am um so I value those friendship and I value them um for dealing with me um and when I decided to do this and I had got the burst of energy, I'm sorry if I'm all over the place, but I, I just wanted to say this because it was very important. Um, 
when I started to realize that I needed to to fix myself and I needed to get back to where I was I'm going it's like coming out of jail and this is and I don't know what it is um <laughs> so when I first started realizing that I wanted to be me so desperately and I wanted to gain control of my life I wanted to be the old me I didn't want to feel the depression I didn't want to feel you know the hurt the pain anymore from what happened you know had transpired in the last two years um, besides me getting sucked into motherhood and wife um, as I wanted to do this, life is still going on. So life is still going on. There's still some shit stirring around me. There's still stuff that I had to deal with, but I was feeling overwhelmed. Um, I was consumed with the overwhelming. I, I just, it was just too much. Um, I felt like I was trying to get myself out of this hole and I was getting pushed back in so I remember at that time I was like the hell with this I said honestly what what was I feeling and at that moment I was feeling overwhelmed by life life had overwhelmed me to the point that I did not I could not keep up with it I felt like I just came out of two freaking years of depression being you know sucked into negative a, a negative um, energy and I was trying to get myself out but life was still going on and it was just too much and I was like for me able to fix myself and get my myself together I need to put a break on life so what other way was I able to do that I had to shut down Facebook um, I got off of social media of course he's gonna call when I'm in the good moment Hello. So in the way that I figured out to get a time out from life, and this is, I swear this is what I did, I did it for a long time. I closed my Facebook um, account. I didn't want to get no notifications, no nothing. Start with social media, no social media. I didn't do that. Um, I stopped answering my phone. I didn't open no text messages, didn't check no emails, no, no voice messages. I didn't do any of that. That's the way that I, that's the way that I got my time out from life. That's the way that I was able to regroup. Regroup in the sense that I was able to find myself again, find the things that I love to do. Um, and it might sound crazy to you guys, but this is honestly how I felt. Um, and I was able to start loving myself, loving, finding stuff that I love to do, finding a pleasure on why to wake up every morning. Um, I am very blessed to get up every morning because of my kids. But when you in that in that feeling um, of of depression and feeling worthless and just non appreciative um, you have to find you can't expect anybody to make you feel to make you feel good your husband can tell you things make you feel good your kids could tell you but there's nothing like you making yourself feel good by you putting on a shirt making yourself feel good doing your makeup um, cooking a good dinner and be like damn girl that food is a banging you know things like that to give yourself recognition to give yourself um, self-worth okay to love yourself to look in the mirror and be like I love myself I took a break from life and I started to focus on myself deals but the clothes that I was getting were like grandma clothes like I was ready to be like six years old that's the way I was dressed and I kid you now I look at some of those pictures and I'm like nana que tu estaba pensando like really what was I thinking like hello so um I know if my kids see this video, my youngest, the, the youngest one um, won't, but maybe the older, older kids will. It, they must be like, you know, they didn't know. They know some of it, but they don't know all of it. Like, you know, the way that I'm expressing myself now, because sometimes it's hard for me to do that because they're my kids. I don't want to hurt. Then I get all mushy and emotional and stuff, and I don't want to keep crying. Like, I cried enough, trust me. So, um, I had to learn, like, 
get clothes that were back in style because I didn't give a crap about style. I'm telling you, I used to go to the supermarket looking crazy. I had a jack legs three times bigger than me. So I had to learn to start loving to dress again. Um, I hated shopping. When I was thin, I loved shopping. I had to learn how to love to go shoe shopping, how to start dyeing my hair, where my gray hair is now down to here, doing my nails pedicure, everything. I had to learn how to take care of myself on the outside, but most importantly, how to take care of my inside. Okay, and I did that by praying. Like I said, the journaling, the letters to self, um, meditating. The kids will probably be like, Mom, you don't even meditate. Okay, I when I'm downstairs, I'm an early person, so I'll get up sometimes five 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 thirty six o'clock i don't know why i left off because paul just going threw me off track so i know i think i started talking about finding myself loving myself doing things that made me feel good praying or the meditation um yeah i get up in the morning have my coffee and meditation it can be anything don't mean i'm on the floor stretching or none of that meditation could just be sitting there um you know Meditation could be just sitting there in a quiet room with your eyes closed, breathing in and out. Um, meditation can just be there listening to a sound, um, which I've done. Um, meditation can be listening to a smooth voice reading, which I've done. Um, and you can find those anywhere. Um, and just waking up to that gives you that that, that um, sense of, you know, just be to relax um so i don't know those are just little things that work for me. you know what i am a true believer that everything in life happens for a reason um i i believe that we all have our destiny in life right um i believe that god has a plan for us and that's just what i believe um i believe that these t last two years I felt that I lost two years of my life behind the caca, las churras, behind the, um, and also because I allow myself to get sucked into a lot of stuff and because I allow myself to get, you know, lost in motherhood when I should have been doing what I enjoy doing to this day is motherhood and being a wife. Um, but I should have took that time out for myself um because i think i burned myself out and i think that i burned myself out not knowing that i was burning myself out and then it just got mixed with everything else and i was just like flatline like Bee! um yeah and then i woke up so i hope that from this you take that you know it's okay to be selfish there's nothing wrong with being selfish because if we're not selfish and we don't take care of ourselves and put ourselves first, then how are we going to be good for anybody else? How can how can we take care of, you know, our children, our husband, our mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, whoever, friends, pets? We can't. In the beginning of my intro, I have an expression there I want you guys to see. Um, and it's true. You have to take care of yourself because if you have nothing and you burn yourself out, how can you give to anybody else? So always make sure that in the morning when you wake up, do something to make yourself feel good. You don't always have to do makeup because I don't always do makeup, but I'll brush my hair. I'll put on a cute towel, throw my leggings on. You guys know all I wear is leggings. Um, I love my leggings. Just make sure that you feel good about yourself. Spray a little bit of, you know, um, body spray do whatever anything that it takes whether it is just putting on a bracelet I, every morning I make sure one of these things but every morning I always make sure that I put on my earrings um, or a necklace I have a cross which I show you guys I love to wear it's just now when I got my nails done for my birthday and um, I can't put the cross on now <laughs> after somebody helped me but um, with that said always take care of yourself put yourself first and you're not being selfish to you're not being selfish by putting yourself first okay um you're not being selfish and always remember that always know your self-worth especially us women like hello we're like crazy built machines you 
not even just outside inside and out i mean i know they say men men are supposed to be you know stronger than women but i'm sorry men no disrespect but i think that women are so strong in so many different levels in so many different ways i think that when um when push comes to shove and we have no other options we're, we're fighters and we'll get up and we fight like bulls and we make things happen when we don't even know how we're going to make it happen and then when we do make it happen we don't even know how we did it but that's how amazing we are as women um and i don't know only want to say mothers because not all of us have children but just as women alone we are so strong um mentally physically and we built like that um you know and just always remember that um i know what it is to be depressed and feel alone and not feel self-worth and that's the worst thing worst thing ever so always love yourself um and with that said i'm going to end the video because i started to feel all teary eye i should have had me some wine champagne maybe even a shot i don't know but thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video again this is simply nana <laughs> oh. oh god um again thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video this is simply nana with crafting cooking and sazon to the next one may god bless you and always keep you safe